Hi everyone, Pau here. So finally on the channel, MPC4000. Yesterday I make a video with sampling comparison uh, of MPC4000. Now I will play you the first two beats on MPC4000 ever for me. This is my first encounter with it. This is basically the first time that I even see the MPC4000 for real, like not on the screen. After making two beats on it, I can confirm that this is most complicated MPC I ever had. I can see that Akai tried to put rack samplers features in this MPC. In the program we are operating on the cake groups, not on the just samples of the program. And it's really nice because rack samplers have amazing features and this is also really, really fun to do. But if you just want to make beats, it can be overwhelming. This is just my first two beats, this is my just first impressions. It's not so good, I have my preferences if we talk about beat machines. But that was really great that I have an opportunity to borrow this one and not buy it because if I will pay like 2000 bucks for MPC 4000, I will be disappointed. So yeah, that was the first bit. So first impression of MPC 4000 for me was not really that great. Trimming and chopping samples are not so uh, not so cool like on MPC 2500. Uh, even MPC 5000 that I recently uh, hated because trimming samples for me it's kind of even there better than here. For me this machine is overcomplicated. Like it's not straightforward beat machine. This is not the beat machine. This is more. I don't know what they try to accomplish in here. As a sampling options, they are kind of great because Akai tried to put rack sampler in here. Here, like options from the rack samplers that we ever have uh, so some screens are even familiar from S3000. When I'm looking on the main screen and I'm trying to navigate with the cursors I never know how to for me manipulating in here on the screen is kind of tough and I think that I need to sit on this machine for hours, for days, weeks, and then I will be familiar with it. I try to say that Bitmachine is so complicated that even I have a problem to work on it. And that's something new for me because uh, I don't have this machine. I have a feeling that, okay, this is gonna work that way or that way, but I'm gonna figure it out pretty quickly, like SP1200. I had SP1200 for just a weekend, and in that weekend I made uh, six, seven beats or stuff like that, and I put a lot of samples on it, and that was just feeling right. But in this machine, I think I will need to see it like for days, months to just feel it. No, 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 it's not that kind of route.
guys in the comments if you have MPC 4000, if you like MPC 4000 or you hate it for something. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.